I'm on, wipe me down. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Ah. Yo, baby, yo. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm the best. I'm the best. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and smelling great. And welcome to another episode of my Two Cent Tuesdays. If this is your first time coming across this channel and you love looking good and smelling great and you've come to the right channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. If you're unfamiliar with this segment on my channel on my Two Cents Tuesdays, get it, my Two Cents, get it? Anyway, so if you're unfamiliar with this segment on the channel, what I do is I give a single review on a fragrance. Now, oftentimes, a lot of these fragrances have already had a lot of people to review the fragrance. So that's why I say I'm just giving my two cents on it. You know, that's my opinion. You know, if that matters to anybody. But in this particular instance, this is a fragrance that I would consider somewhat of a hidden gem because not a lot of people have talked about this fragrance and I'm so excited to talk about it. The fragrance that I'm going to be reviewing today is Dolce & Gabbana, The One, Mysterious Nights. Again, not a lot of people have talked about this fragrance and I'm so excited to give my two cents on it. So, if you guys want to hear that, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the review of Dolce & Gabbana The One, Mysterious Nights. First, let's take a look at the presentation. So you already know, guys, if you know me, I love, 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 love this bottle. It has a beautiful uh, hue of red on the bottle or a burgundy type color with a nice gold cap on the bottle as well. Uh, very reminiscent to uh, overall the other uh, bottle presentations that you've seen from this uh, line, the Dolce and Gabbana, the one line before, except for again, the colors are different and I love the colors of the, this particular bottle. So the itemizer on this particular, or the sprayer on this particular bottle is gold as well. And it gives you a nice mist when you spray it. And the actual box, I didn't bring the box down. I do have the box and the box comes in the same red uh, color as you find on the actual fragrance. The so box is really, really nice. Looks like, again, the other Dolce & Gabbana, the one boxes, but of course it comes in a nice burgundy or red type color. So overall, I absolutely love the presentation on Dolce & Gabbana, the one Mysterious Nights. Now, this fragrance was released in the year of 2018. This is another flanker in the long line of flankers from the Dolce & Gabbana, the one uh, lineup. And I will tell you right now, besides the Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP, which was my favorite. This rivals that one for my new favorite fragrance in that whole lineup, because I'm telling you right now, this fragrance is absolutely fantastic. This fragrance is classified as an oriental spicy fragrance, and you get a lot of spices from this fragrance. I will tell you that in, a different, in addition to some other things I wanna talk about, but it's a very spicy fragrance, and it is an eau de parfum concentration. Now we haven't heard a lot of people talk about this fragrance because when it was initially released, it was not readily available to the US market. This particular release was an exclusive release to the Middle Eastern market. So again, when it was initially released, it was hard for folks in the US to get their hands on it. Again, hence the reason I feel like a lot of people never talked about it, but I, I will tell you this now, I will, I'm proud to say it is readily available on a lot of our you know, discounted sites that we normally go to. So I'm telling you right now, guys, if you want to look for something different in the designer game, look at this particular fragrance. Next up, let's talk about the notes. The opening notes are saffron and grapefruit. Middle notes are rose, oud, and clary sage. Base notes on this fragrance are amber, labdanum, tonka bean, and wood. Now let's jump into a little bit about what this fragrance actually smells like. I've already sprayed it on my hand, but again, I'll give a fresh spray so that I can really go into it with you guys. Now, when this fragrance opens up, you get a, a nice, slightly fruity freshness from the grapefruit. Now, the grapefruit is really 
uh, plays the background, although it's, a, it's an opening note, it really plays the background. The two primary notes I get when I spray this fragrance are the saffron and the rose. Now, I've seen two other reviews on this fragrance and I am surprised that I did not hear anybody mention what this fragrance closely resembles when it opens up. And I'm gonna tell you what it is, wait for it. This fragrance smells very close to Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall when it opens up. You get that same really spicy rose combination that you get from Frederick Mall on the opening of this fragrance. Now, it's not a clone of Portrait of a Lady, but I'm telling you right now, in the opening, I will say for the first 10 minutes or so, this fragrance very closely, very closely resembles Portrait of a Lady. So I will tell you now, if you like Portrait of a Lady, although Portrait of a Lady stays more spicy and earthy as it dries down because of the patchouli and the other spices in it, this one goes a little bit more in a sweet tonka bean, warm amber direction when it dries down. But I'm telling you right now, it's very similar to Portrait of a Lady on the opening. So if you like Portrait of a Lady and you never put your nose on this, this will tell you, it'll give you a really good idea of what this fragrance smells like when it opens up if you ever smell Portrait of a Lady. So again, guys, when the fragrance opens up, you get this almost leathery type of slightly sweet accord from the saffron in the fragrance. Again, you do sense the grapefruit, but it's very, very short lived in the opening. It's more about the saffron and the rose. Now, as the fragrance starts to transition to the, the heart of this fragrance, you're still gonna be picking up the rose and you're still gonna be getting that kind of leathery, slightly sweet, uh, vibe that you get in the opening from the saffron. The saffron stays around for quite some time in this fragrance. And again, it, to my nose, it blends very, very well with the spicier notes in the heart, like the clary sage. But the primary note of this fragrance the heart is the rose note. And again, it's not a clone, but the rose that you get from this is very similar to the rose that you get from Portrait of a Lady. In the heart of this fragrance as well, you get oud, but it's not a, an overly pungent oud, so I think it's more of a of a of a oud type of a chord that you get from this. Again, more similar to the type of oud that you're gonna find in Tom Ford's oud wood. So you get that type of light uh, kind of oud accord in the heart of the fragrance, and it mixes very very well with that kind of jammy rose. Uh, again, similar to the rose that you get from Portrait of a Lady. Now, as the fragrance heads into the the dry down. You get this very, very warm, again, slightly sweet, uh, ambery accord that comes into play. It lays nicely on a nice uh, bed of woods. Um, it doesn't really list the, uh, all of the woods. It just says precious woods in the note breakdown that I saw. But I definitely get a cedar wood, kind of sandalwood type vibe uh, from this fragrance, although I'm not 100% sure if that's the woods that's used, but that's the vibe I get, a cedar kind of sandalwood type of combination on the base and of course you get the tonka bean when the fragrance really dries down i'm talking about past the four hour mark uh, it really becomes about the amber and the tonka bean so you get this kind of warm sweet dry down that lasts and lasts on my skin past eight hours so that brings me to talking about the overall performance performance on this stuff is great uh, you get eight to nine, nine and a half hours of complete longevity. It goes to a skin scent after about that three, three and a half hour mark, it goes to a skin scent. Uh, but again, from that point on, you get a nice, sweet, warm, ambery, tonka bean accord, and it's really, really nice on my skin. Now, I don't pick up much um, of the original Dolce & Gabbana, the one. And that's not a bad thing because of the other, out of all the other flankers from the Dolce & Gabbana The One line, you pick up uh, essence of the original uh, fragrance from this line, but this one I don't. Again, I really, really don't pick up any of the, the vibe from the original Dolce & Gabbana The One, but like I said, it's not a bad thing because this does something different and I like what this fragrance does. Now, as far as what you're gonna pay for this fragrance, I've seen it listed anywhere between that $75 to $100 mark. And I will tell you now, but what that you get from this fragrance, that is great value for the price. I'm telling right now, you get a fragrance that's gonna perform, that smells great, and again, especially when you compare it to fragrances in the designer market, this fragrance is very, very 
unique. <clears throat> to my nose, I think the best seasons to wear this fragrance is gonna be fall and winter. This is going to become a fall and winter staple in my collection because I love the note of rose. I love the rose oud combination. And this one is really, really good. So overall guys, at the end of the day, this fragrance is one I highly recommend. This fragrance gets a nine out of 10 in my book. You get a great fragrance for the price. It smells great, it performs great. And again, to me, that equals value. Now the fragrance does come in two sizes as well. Uh, you find a 100 ml, which is the bottle that I have, and it also comes in 150 ml. Uh, but the one that I've seen that's been most readily available is the 100 ml size like you see right here. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this episode of my Two Cents Tuesdays on Dolce & Gabbana, The One Mysterious Night. I know you guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me taking the time to watch this video, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to other folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your main man, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.